That's the latest from Jay Brown featuring Tank Don't Rush on Magic 95.9, Baltimore's best variety of R&B, home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. It's your man Ryan the Lion here inside the Lion's Den. And today I've got a special guest checking in with me. Great community information. I would like to welcome none other than Dr. Narav Shah. He is the professor at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. He was named one of Baltimore Magazine's 2020 Top Doctors in the Specialty of Intensive Care. Please help me welcome none other. Again, Dr. Shaw, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's nice to be here with you guys this morning. So let's get into a little bit about you, uh, just a little bit of background, what you do and uh, what you do at the uh, University of Maryland School of Medicine before we get into what we're talking about here today. That sounds good. So I am a pulmonary and critical care physician. I take care of patients in the intensive care unit. I do pulmonary consultations in the hospital. And then I also practice outpatient medicine where I see all kinds of patients with pulmonary diseases, breathing issues. And then the other part of my job, I'm the uh, dean for curriculum, the assistant dean of curriculum for the medical school. So I get to do a a mix of things. So you are a pretty busy guy. (laughs) A little bit. (laughs) Uh, Let's talk a little bit about uh, this pulmonary thing and uh, uh, what's going on with that. So we take care of patients in Baltimore and around in the community from all parts of Maryland and and even outside of Maryland. They come to us with breathing disorders. Mm. And so so we, we see patients in the outpatient setting at the University of Maryland Medical Center Midtown campus where we have a beautiful new space on the ninth floor of an ambulatory building where you can come and you can get breathing tests, you can see pulmonary doctors, you can see sleep medicine doctors, and on the same floor that we see patients, you can see, patient, you can see doctors that specialize in cardiology and gastrointestinal diseases. So you really can come to the University of Maryland and really get kind of everything checked out. That is absolutely amazing and great information because um, this pulmonary thing, uh, that's that's dealing with the lungs? Absolutely. Now, I know probably in our community, uh, communities of color, I know smoking is a big thing uh, that affects a lot of people. Now, are there opportunities when people come there? I, I guess you just really talked about that f- to get checked out and then head to other, uh, I guess, facets of the uh, of the University of Maryland to get assistance. Yeah, for sure. So we, we definitely see patients for smoking-related lung diseases. We also have a great smoking cessation clinic that, um, that helps people quit smoking because it's one of the hardest things to do. Right. Even though we know that it causes damage to the lungs, it's, it's really difficult sometimes. You know, there are a lot of circumstances that, that make it hard to quit. So we have a, a, a really fantastic setup for smoking cessation. Um, in addition, you know, other issues like something like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, we have specialty physicians that see patients with those disorders. In addition, we have a severe asthma um, center where, you know, you can see Dr. Catherine Robinette. Um, we have an interstitial lung disease center. So really, you know, you come there, you get evaluated, and we can plug you into the right specialty, even in pulmonary medicine, in lung medicine, where it's even broken down further into subspecialties. So glad you brought up the uh, the asthma thing, because that's something else that affects a lot of uh, people. I was just at a football game over the weekend and uh, pretty hot outside, and one of the kids um, was affected. And, um, you know, it was kind of like a real panic scene to watch a kid go through that. So, I mean, there's a... Um, a lot of things that this pulmonary, I guess, umbrella falls under or takes care of. Absolutely. And, and for asthma, you know, it's really important that, you know, you, you not only have the right medications and the medications on hand, but you also think about the environment that people are in, think about the things that affect people's lungs. The lungs are a pretty unique organ because they're exposed to the environment mm. constantly. Right? Mm-hmm. We breathe, breathe in and out. And, um, you know, if, if something has highlighted pulmonary medicine. It's been this global pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic over the last few years. Right. Uh, So what is one good piece of advice you could give somebody right now uh, for good lung health care? Like, What is one thing we should make sure we do to make sure we take care of our lungs? Yeah, so that's a great question. I think the biggest thing is is to make sure that when you're around dusty or dirty areas, um, that you be careful what you're breathing in, right? So wearing a a mask, if you're doing work outside, that's going to be inhaling particles and things like that, or if you're going to be in a a situation where you know that you're going to be exposed to, to a large amount of dust, um, I think that you can protect your lungs in that in that manner. I also think that you know good cardiovascular fitness is good for lung health as well, right? Mm-hmm. So just getting out 
walking and, and we don't think about it as exercising our lungs, but we use them constantly, but just keeping our body in shape as much as possible and not putting things in there that are, that are harmful. So I think that one thing that's been highlighted over the last few years is vaping, right? A lot of right, people have right. turned to vaping to try and quit smoking, but we've learned that there's also vaping induced lung injury where you can get really severe lung injury as a result of the stuff that you inhale. So I think being careful with the things that we do to our lungs, we, we get one set of lungs and, uh, <laughs> right. and it's important to protect them. So uh, you can get your lungs out of shape. You can have out of shape lungs. You need to work your lungs out. Absolutely. Man. Hey, Dr. Shah, thank you so much. Can we uh, give out some information uh, how people who can get in touch with um, the School of Medicine, University of Maryland School of Medicine, if they want uh, more information about any of this? Absolutely. So if, if anyone has any issues where they, they want to be seen by us, they can give our office a call, 410-328-8141. They can get an appointment with our, with our doctors. In addition, we partner with our community pulmonologists. We have lots of patients that see a doctor in their community, and then they come to us because they need some more subspecialty care. And so connecting that way, if you Google the University of Maryland School of Medicine pulmonary diseases, you'll come to our website. Um, and you can you can see you know what specialties are listed under what subspecialties are listed under there, and um, and just give our office a call and we're happy to see anybody. Dr. Shaw, thank you. Uh, absolutely great information, um, a resource that we know we have in our community that we need to make sure we take care of because we are the most important thing, right? We got to make sure we take care of ourselves. Absolutely. Dr. Shaw, thank you so much, and uh, we will be doing this often. So I'm looking forward to uh, speaking with you again and getting some more updates and uh, getting some more information out there to the people. That sounds really good. Just remember that in, in Baltimore, we have a lot of great resources for pulmonary diseases. Mm-hmm. U.S. News and World Report ranks us highly for pulmonary diseases, and I think that um, we're excited to, to be a part of the community and, and take care of ourselves together. That's awesome, Doc. Looking forward to it. All right, we'll talk very soon. Thank you for having me on today.